TJ Nation, what's up? Hey, you know, today I'm with Demonology. Look, we're in the M. That's Memphis, Tennessee, if y'all don't know. Finally together. And, yeah, and there's today, today's the day, the big race. Man, I've been holding you down all morning, man. I've seen people at breakfast. They said, hey, look, I asked them, I said, who, who you guys betting on? Uh -huh. And they said, you know, half of them said Demonology, a couple of them said, you know, Dunk Master. So, those people don't know what they're talking about. We don't listen to them. Right. So today is the day for the big race. But before we get into the big race, he's going to show me how to run on the drag strip. So that's what today's about. I'm going to learn with how your to... demon. With my demon. That's right. Yeah, with that's the right. demon. So I'm, going to, I'm going to learn. Hey, and maybe, and maybe you can show me how to run with the Absolutely. A, a Victor Absolutely. Roll race that's what, only, though. That's Roll what we'll race do. Only. That's what we'll do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what we'll do. So, hey, look, man. Check this out, it's gonna be cool. And then guess what we're gonna find out? We're gonna find out how some of these brothers got into this drag racing game, you know? And how, you know, what they even do to be able to afford this stuff. Cause this ain't cheap. We're gonna get started. We're gonna get started, right? We're about to go in deep. Yeah. Look, look, demonology's passion about the demon has made me even more passionate about it. So, you know, look, let me be honest, right? I fell in love with the, the demon because I can have fun with it. Oh, yeah. You, know, you, can, have, I can, you, yeah, you can have a lot of fun yeah, with it. Because I can spin yeah. it. I can spin it. But that ain't what it's designed <laughs> to do. Well, you know, I'm not a drifter like that. Right, you. right, right. But it's designed <laughs> to go fast. It's designed to go and fast. And it's designed to be right here on the track. So, that's where yeah. we are. We're on the track. And so, we're about to learn. I'm about to learn. Y'all already know. Y'all already know because y'all be talking stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to learn how to do what we need to do to track prep this car. Okay. Right? All right. So okay. let you, you, you do this thing, man. Tell me what's up. Okay. So first of all, we're going to talk about the skinnies. So we don't have the skinnies on the car to put in the front, but let me give you a little inside information. The Demon skinnies were overbuilt because Dodge knew, even though they said don't drive them on the street, guess what people were gonna do? Yeah. Drive them on the street. Right. So those skinnies actually, with the rubber on them, weigh the same amount as this big tire right here. Oh. And generally skinnies is a lot less weight. Like the skinnies that I have on my Demon, with the tire and with the rubber, probably comes out to about 28 pounds. Okay. The thing that the skinny does though, even though is it's not lightweight, but you want lightweight, is that it's a narrow patch that's on the ground. So if the tire, if the car gets away from you on the rear end, it continues to track straight a little bit better. Because you know from a road course tire, the more patch you have on the ground, the more it's gonna steer mm -hmm. in that particular direction. Mm -hmm. Remember when you was out on the track, we're not gonna talk about that, but. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> yeah, I'm but but, but because you have that big patch, mm -hmm. it's easier to guide you into a particular yeah. location you know, yeah. so, so you're talking about when I wrecked my car. The thing with the demon is that it has it has a couple of little pups. You know, I'm an old school guy, so I got these old knees, TJ. Come on, TJ, you're not that far behind me, brother. Well, come on, TJ, man. You know, black don't crack, well, man. You know what, man? You know. <laughs> 
So TJ, if you notice, you see this hockey puck right yeah, here. Yeah. I call it a, call it a little hockey puck. Yeah. This is designed for the demon, so you can get the car up without damaging it and uh, get the tire chain. Okay. Okay. So. We're going to take this floor, Jack. See how hard it was for him to get up? Hey, look, man. So I just jumped up like that. Look, See? look, we're in the same age bracket. <laughs> yeah. I'm varsity. He's just a freshman. <laughs> so look, guys. We're going to take this jack. And notice this jack has a, has a blocker on it, so it doesn't go too far. Mm -hmm. And it has a pad just in case if you go up too far. You don't want to ding and damage your car, right? There go those old knees. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to find the pup until we're right in the middle of that puck. There we go. Yeah. And just go ahead and jack it up, TJ. So let's bring it all the way down and just, just come halfway, there you go. Just come up until we get that wheel off the ground. It's off the ground. It's off the ground, brother. We're good to go. Room guys, so hopefully you don't hear no moaning and groaning on this microphone. Five minutes later. I thought TJ was supposed to be helping me. Right? I know, right? Or I was supposed to be teaching TJ, right? <laughs> I guess that's why he's a millionaire mentor. Twenty minutes later. Man, you need me to show you how to change this tire. Oh no, sir, I got it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you know, man, I had to take a quick phone call. You know, I could have had this tire changed already, man. I could have had all, you know, four of them changed, you know? So we got this one in, and we're going to let TJ have at it on the other side. There you go, sir. There you go. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll take this one. I know it's not an exotic car. I know they set up differently, but. Yeah, with like exotic cars, the way you change the wheel, yeah. with exotic cars, it's like, let me show you. Oh, no, it's no, not, no, no. I gotta show you though, man, I gotta show you. With exotic cars, uh -huh. you do it with the keys, right? Okay. You got you gotta say keys? You, need to, you can just play like these. Can you come over a little bit closer, these, man? These are not exotic car keys. That's like, actually let's my pretend. Own glasses, right? So you get out of the car, you say, how you doing, sir? Oh, that's, that's how you change oh, the tire. You that's how you change the tire. <laughs> and it's done. You go get some coffee. And then you get some coffee. Yeah. around off in the car because the sound that I'm listening to going down the track is I want to hear the tires turning over and want to make sure they don't start skipping right the the bad thing about a car like this is that if you're on a surface that's not prepped really good imagine a basketball that's bouncing up and down and then all of a sudden you stick it on the ground mm -hmm. now you're snapping stuff okay so I want to make sure that this thing is going out and it's not dribbling and anytime i feel it dribbling blah, 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 or it's moving i get out of the gas it ain't i mean it's not worth the race to shatter your differential so wait wait, wait. let me, let me make sure i understand something if i shatter my diff mm -hmm. how much is it going to cost me if you shatter this differential in this car what's going to happen is probably going to break your half shafts and your drop shaft and dodge will cover that under warranty if you have your stock tires on there with you, but if it's and if the it, stock size, right. but if it wasn't under warranty, what is it going to cost? If it wasn't under warranty, you're probably looking at about eighteen thousand okay. dollars. Okay, I got Ooh, it. Wow, he said, oh. I got it. What you gonna do when it's time to pay your bills? <laughs> you going to deserve me? <laughs> what I like to do is I like to warm up everything in my car, just like you know when we was playing sports back in the day. We would jog around the field before we start stretching before the game, yeah, yeah. and then you get in and start stretching and you get going, right? Yeah. So imagine I just drove around and I warmed everything up. So I'm gonna show you one of my tricks, right? So right now this transmission 
it's cold. I can actually come right here and I can go over to my transmission and show you where everything is and your gas is perfect. Okay. So we're gonna come over here to our trans. So here's our coolant, it's 199. And we're gonna go over to our transmission. Transmission is 174. I like to get my transmission about 180. Okay. okay. So when you pull up to the line, you see that you, you see those two two white lines right there. That's gonna show you. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna do. Some drag strips they have a marker right there on the wall, but I guess this marker is the end of this banner right here, and that lets you know that you're coming up to the staging lights, right? So when I after I do my burnout, TJ. What a lot of people don't see me do is I will stop, I will pump my brake to lock it down, and I will bring up power in the convert. I'll bring up pressure in the torque converter like this. Right before the tires start to spin, mm -hmm. see? And that fills up fluid in the torque converter. So I, I take my foot off and I press it down. Now, are you perfectly straight? Yeah, we're pretty much straight right here. And then I'll have a guy to, 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 to line me in. So let's say we take off and we go down the track. Boom. So the demon is doing his thing. We're going down the track. We're steering. We're looking straight ahead. If we get any spin, we let out of the accelerator. Okay? racing has been your passion like for a long time yes off and on right so the thing that's interesting about that is that that's not how you made your money though you do no. other stuff to make money you did yes. the police department mm -hmm. jujitsu mm -hmm. uh stuff right mm -hmm. so i mean like how do you how do you manage having such a strong passion in this and then making a living doing something else well you know i have a retirement from the police department yeah and then jujitsu is another one of my loves. Yeah. Right? But now I'm retired and I get to live my kids. Oh, 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 jujitsu, huh? I'm gonna stay away from him. I'm this boxer. <laughs> Hey man, we'll have to get on the mats one day. We're, 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 we're have to get not on the getting on the mats. You so, too, boy. So. I look at you right now. You too strong. No. You country strong. You no. know what I'm saying? They don't even call it strong. They call it strong. Country strong. Go ahead. Yeah. So how did you manage? See, what I'm trying to figure out is that people tell everybody mm -hmm. now, right? Like you know, I like to coach and help mm -hmm. people come up, make money, right? And one of the things that people say is, hey, just follow your passions. Just do what makes you happy. And you'll make, you know, you'll make money, you'll make all the money, you'll just be okay. But you did something different because you're passionate. Well, well, you know what I, well, you know what I did different is at first I secured a job, right. a job that I like to do that was not considered a job for me. I always wanted to be a police officer, mm -hmm. right? And so it was easy for me to go and do that in and out every day and not be bored with it. Right. And so once I secured that, then I learned how to manage my monies. It's not that I didn't make enough money as a police officer. I didn't manage the money into the areas that I wanted to do things, mm -hmm. right? And so once I realized that, I started investing in myself for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which if you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu traditionally is mm -hmm. one of the longest arts to get a black belt, mm -hmm. almost like 10 years or more, right? And so once I went through that avenue and I came to the point where it was time for me to retire, I was making the same amount of money going to work as I was making if I was to retire. It was time for me to make my next transition into mm -hmm. life, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes things can happen that can squeeze you, mm -hmm. that will push you into your destiny. Right, so right. just because something bad may happen, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that it's all over for you. You just keep moving and take all the experience that you have and apply it to that. So I retired from the police department and I opened up a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school, which was one of my dreams when I was on the police department, mm -hmm. but I didn't balance the money good enough so I could open up a Jiu Jitsu and still be a full time police officer. Yeah. But now that I was retired, I could do it. I had a mailbox check coming in the mail, yeah. and now I got my Jiu Jitsu check coming. So, so your primary way of making money now is your retirement from mm -hmm. police 
-hmm. the police force and public service. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the public service, Thank brother. You, mm -hmm. And you were one of the good ones, right? I was one I, of the good hey, ones. Hey, they got good ones and bad ones. I like, I like to say I was I was. You one were of good the ones. ones, all right. So good. here's the thing I love, right? Is that you've always had a passion for cars, drag racing, mm -hmm. right? You secured the bag, mm -hmm. right? Learn how to manage money and stuff. Right. Then you build something else, right? Mm -hmm. So you built an additional stream of income. Mm -hmm. And you then, you know, you started investing more in your hobby at some point. Right, and your hobby pays a little bit too. Yeah, pays for yeah, itself a yeah, little bit. Yeah, offsets, I mean, my hobby right? Pays for itself. Yeah, yeah just yeah, kind of offsets, like right? Because I'm not just wasting all my money. The hobby is taking care of itself, and it's paying for itself. Yeah, I love know? that. Yeah. So, so the thing that's cool about that man is that you know you didn't use that formula that people are being told now. Because I think it's a false formula. Mm -hmm. Just do what makes you happy. Oh no, right? no, Just no, do what no, makes no. you happy. Just follow your passion. And some of that's true, but some of that's not. And for some of us, man, we just didn't have the fallback plans, we didn't have the family, we didn't have the, the cushion to be able to just do what we want. If you have the cushion to do whatever you want and you're okay, right, doing whatever you want and mommy and daddy's gonna take care of you, you have a, uh, you know, you have some sort of fund or whatever, right, you know, then that's okay. But for most of us, we have to secure the bag and that's what you did, yeah, man, yeah, so I love that, man. So look, yeah. we gotta continue to do this because we're about to race. I, I appreciate that, man. But you know, we we are doing our thing, man. So you know, we're blessed, 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 right? So it's awesome to be out here, man. Out in the M, just hanging out with people, man. You know what I mean? Just hanging out, you know. You make yourself accessible. Yeah, I, I, I know people in your position yeah, yeah. that they're not accessible. Right. You make yourself accessible. I've really been watching you for a long time, yeah. man. I just got the utmost respect for it. Appreciate and me that. as a veteran, yeah. a good old country boy myself, yeah. mm -hmm. when I see it, I believe it a lot yeah. of times. Yeah. Me seeing this yeah. from somebody that yeah. look like me, yeah. it means that much more, man. That's what I be trying my best not to blow your inbox up. Like, <laughs> I just be wanting to just say, man, I, you just don't know the impact you yeah. have on my life, man. I appreciate that. Well, now you got my text, you got my phone number, so you can text me directly. So, you know. At first I said, TJ, Said he sent me his number. This is probably his agent phone number. Let me, nah, let me check man. it out. Nah. Then that was TJ. That was yeah, your phone yeah, man. man. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was yeah. Like, this is a yeah, good yeah, dude, yeah bro. man. Appreciate the that. Flash man. Yeah, man. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> TJ, man, can you come and just give people a couple words of how you are growing so fast? I don't know. <laughs> That's the truth. I don't know. Here's the thing, guys. Like, I've always loved cars, and uh, but I'm, I'm a businessman, right? So that's my thing. I've uh, I've been a businessman from forever. I think. Uh, you know, I was talking to your wife, and your wife was talking about your son, and he says, "I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a millionaire." And that was me as a kid, right? So. That was me, right? So it starts with wanting something and wanting something bigger. So as such, we've always had to create content that matters. We can't just create content. We got to create content that has some sort of impact. So I think that's what I've been doing is trying to create content that has a message behind it. Yeah, I post my cars because I love my cars, right? And that's my passion. I'm passionate about road racing, R-O-A-D racing. 
and I'm here to learn how to drag race. So I don't know nothing about drag racing, even though he wants to pour gap sauce all over me. And, 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 yeah, he wants to pour gap sauce on me, and he wants to snatch my soul. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I bought out my Aventador. They want to do all that to me, even though I don't know anything about drag racing. But, but, <laughs> but, but I love cars, right? So, so I started posting about things that I love, but trying to figure out how to post things that matter. And the thing that I've been trying to do is to drop knowledge all the time. It's a crazy event. I've never been to a drag race ever in my life. And of course, I've never drag raced my car. So today, we're racing somebody. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're racing somebody. And I can't be as arrogant as say that I'm gonna stomp anybody. I'm gonna be, I, can, I don't know what's gonna happen. So, so demonology has never been in a supercar, though his demon is a supercar. <laughs> no, but, not like this. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show him how to take the car down the track. See, we're gonna take him, he's gonna get to take it down in his environment. And then one day, he's gonna come in my environment and sit shotgun and I take him around a road course. But right now, we're about to do rolling, a yeah, rolling road, road run. Race. We're gonna do a rolling run down here. And uh, this is first time driving a supercar. All right, so that's what we're about to do. Oh, if you don't get all way.
race dog master. Hey man, and he had a fan problem. If it don't go down, I'm, I'm TJ is here yeah. to save me with the All Stock Demon. Yeah. So I'll give him a run for his money with with, with the All Stock Demon because I don't think he can hook on this track, and that All Stock Demon is gonna hook him. Good. So it's gonna he's, he's gonna have to run me down. So. <laughs> but we're we're hoping yeah. the fan yeah. starts to work. Yeah, but if the fan starts to work, this ain't this. He's not gonna be able to deal with this. Yeah. So hey, there you have it. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. Man, the number of people here is wow. This place is lit. It's lit here in the M in Memphis, Tennessee. Honestly, this is my first drag race event. Who knew? Who knew? I feel like I'm at the Super Bowl, man. This is crazy. People camping out, you know. So, you, know, you got the campers out, you got people grilling, right? There's kids, there's families. There's so many people here, yeah. so it's cool, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, Demonology gets his car fixed, so so he he can uh, be Doc Master.